Today I got something really fun to share with you here on Greg's Camera Corner, a series name that I just came up with right now and I'm realizing isn't the best because I'm not actually in a corner, but I do have a camera in this box here. I've been going down a very dangerous rabbit hole on YouTube and that's related to vintage, I guess you'd call it vintage camcorders, particularly Sony ones. Vintage being like 90s, 2000s, 2010s. I'm really fascinated by the idea of one, trying to open a box, but two, getting like that old home movie feel. Obviously I make home movies, but it's always with what I would consider pretty good equipment and the quality is always, as you can tell, amazing, right? But I had this idea of getting an older camcorder, especially after going down this dangerous rabbit hole, that I could actually put into even worse quality than what it came out with and make these four by three, you know, without the widescreen, old school feeling home movies that feels like it came right out of the 90s. And there is this camcorder that I loved the form of, and I watched all these videos on it, and I was just like, okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And it's inside this bag that was inside a box, and there it is right there. It's a Sony bloggy, it's a CM or sorry, MHS CM5. It's actually in box, this is not new, but I got a great deal on this. First of all, take a look at the form factor. It's like a vertical thing. Imagine filming something vertically, almost like this. Oh, that's what everyone does these days, particularly on TikTok. But this has the feel of one of those old school camcorders, but it's actually not that old. This came out in 2010, which was, I guess looking back, that's before I even started this channel. I could have started this channel with this camcorder and it would have actually been an upgrade over what I really started this channel, which, with, which I have, I'm trying to speak here. Believe it or not, this is my first camera that I started Greg's World with back in 2011. A year after this camera came out, this is a Flip Ultra HD. And it's, boy, it's in rough shape these days, but I used this for like the first year and it was one of those things where you couldn't see yourself, but all the vloggers were using this and I fell onto the hype train. So that was my first camera, but a year before that, I didn't even realize this camera was out, but we had a Sony bloggy and they were kind of capitalizing on the whole YouTube thing by calling it that. But I was surprised that this came out, I think it was $200 when it was released. And surprisingly, a lot of these old cameras are going up in value because all of the young TikTok kids, they wanna have these digi cams and all these things that make it feel like, kinda of like what I'm doing. Maybe I'm jumping on the trend, but I didn't even know it was a trend. I just got interested in this. But this guy wanted, wow, this is crazy. This guy wanted $50 for this. And I he had best offer available, so I put an offer of $35 in thinking he would decline it or come back at like 40 or something but he just accepted it. So I ended up getting this camera for $35 and it's like literally brand new. The box is all intact. He's got all of, like there's a case for it. All of the paperwork is all here as well. There's even a CD. I don't have anything to even play that on, but we've got a CD-ROM, I guess, for your computer. But here it is. The Sony bloggy that you can flip out and then that becomes, oh, it actually just turned on too. The battery works. Holy smokes. Look at that quality, baby. Actually, I'm gonna put it in worse quality because this records in 1080p, which is still acceptable on YouTube today. Uh, I'm gonna put this down into 640, I think, which is gonna give me the four by three ratio and it's gonna feel very vintage and old. And I was thinking about just making some home movies with this and sharing them here. The people that don't see this video are gonna wonder why does that look so terrible? Then Greg used to have good quality videos. How did this happen? What happened? Well, you and I are gonna know the truth, and it's the fact that I'm going for a, an aesthetic, a certain style, if you will, a video, and boy, this thing, the screen on this, <laughs> comparing it to what I'm using now. In fact, I could show you what I'm using now. Oh, we could, we could inception the heck out of this. Could I do this? I'm trying to figure out the logistics of this. Yeah, we, you can see me seeing you, seeing me seeing you. Wow, this is crazy. I didn't realize, I thought this was black. It's like a, it's like a plum color, it's like purple, which is actually even more fun. I've never had a purple camera, but there's also all of the cables and stuff in here of which I'll never use. He did a great job packaging this up. There's a charging cable. Holy smokes, this is great. 
I had no idea it was in this great condition and that was a, an amazing deal. I would have paid $50 for this. Don't tell the seller. I'm sure he'll never see this video. It even has a little lens cap here that you can take on and off. I was gonna pay 50 for this. It would have been a great deal because they sell for more than that. But when I put the offer in for 35, I don't think there's, I can't imagine there's much demand for something like this. But uh, I just thought it'd be fun to play around with. And I thought at $35, definitely the cheapest camera that I've ever bought in my life. I just thought that I could have fun with this. I'm like, why is the screen black? I have the cap on, but you just film like this. It feels like the old Super 8 days, eight millimeter style, and that's what I'm going for in terms of quality. And I just wanted to share this with you. Look, it's even got the, the stickers and stuff on there. This thing's mint condition, absolute mint. Other than my fingerprints are all over it now. That's one thing that I'm, I guess I'll have to get around. <laughs> the fingerprints, that's gonna trigger me. I'm gonna have to have like a, a cloth with me at all times with this, dang. I can't believe I got the, such a great deal on this. I can't believe I didn't start my channel with this. This would have been fantastic to begin with. Could have just had my thing like this, could have been filming myself, could have shown everything. It's got a little uh, zoom rocker here that you can zoom in. I mean, it's already zoomed in pretty far, but you could really zoom in and just... <laughs> okay, how about we stop talking here? Why don't I show you the quality of this? Be prepared for, to be amazed by 2010 technology, because uh, I'm gonna show you what a home movie would look like with this, uh, just as a little sample here, since you sat down and listened to me talk for this long. On my Sony Vloggy CM, MHS CM5. Sony's always been great with their names. It, we'll just call it the Vloggy. I'm gonna make a Vloggy with my Vloggy. I almost have to set it down and then move all the way back against the bookshelf to be in the shot, and you're like two feet closer to me right now than what my camera was that I was just filming on, right there. But if I'm not filming myself, I'm actually in 1080p right now, by the way. This is the best quality that this thing can do. This is what it looks like. 1080, 30, there's my, my Lego set. Could I make Lego videos with this? Do you think people would find that acceptable? This is what it looks like. There's the packaging. We can film ourselves. Film the bloggy with the bloggy. You're probably thinking right now, Greg, this was the worst $35 you've ever spent in your life. Wait until you see what you're about to see when I put this down into the quality that I plan and make my home movies in. Now, my friends, we're really showing the quality. This is 640 by 480, and that is 480p. If this was 1080, it'd be 1920 by 1080. So this is very small. I can record according to this. I can record for like an entire day on this eight gigabyte card. But this is what it would look like making my little home movies, and it should feel very old school, very vintage. There should be hopefully black bars on the side when you're watching this. Let me spin this around, you can see the room here. The screen is is terrible, but let's do like a little bit of zooming too. This definitely has that camcorder feel, dude. This is exactly what I was looking for. It's gonna feel like I recorded this back in 1993. That's what it's gonna feel like, hopefully. Does not like the harsh sunlight there. I'm like totally zoomed in. Can I zoom back out? Can we do that? There we go. It's recognizing the faces in that picture though. That's kind of crazy. For that time, to recognize that, Sony quality. Oh, don't look at that one. There you go. Look at that dude. This is what it would feel like to, to film back in the day and what that would have been like. This screen, you have to have it like right on to be able to see. I'm gonna zoom in on you, Bear. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything on this screen. I guess the struggle is real. This probably does a little bit better outside where there's some decent lighting. There's the Chukions. In 480p, oh, I can keep zooming. Oh my gosh. It's shaky as frick, but we got the zooms. Holy, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna throw it probably. Definitely takes its sweet time zooming out. Let's see how it does with the dynamic range here. Oh, uh, not, not great. But I'm gonna be playing around with this. I'll definitely be making more interesting videos than this. I think it oftentimes comes down to content more so than it does quality, and I think that's what this is gonna show. But I just wanna play around. I just wanna have some fun, you know? I love cameras, and it's, it's like my obsession. And now I've got this to play with, and I can make some cool stuff for you, hopefully, uh, from farther away than this, because it's, it's a little close, Sony. It's a little close, bloggy. But there you go. There's your, uh, there's your sample image. If you're thinking about buying a $35 camera, I don't think you do much better than this, my friends. We're back now on the good camera, and all I can say is just how much I appreciate how much technology has moved forward in the last decade or so. Imagine filming on this and being like, yeah, that's, that's looking good. 
to what we have now. And where will we be 10 years from now? It's incredible to even think about it. 4K will be laughable. It'll be look, look like this, basically. Wow, it's just, this is nuts. So I'm gonna have so much fun with this. I'm gonna try to make some videos over Christmas break with it. And uh, oh, I would film Christmas with it, but I, I wouldn't wanna put that put you through that. I want that to be a video that I remember forever. But I'll just film some things here and there and maybe sprinkle it into the regular videos. That way I don't scare too many people off. But my Sony Bloggy, this is my little toy uh, that I bought for myself. A little, little gift, early gift, I guess. Early Christmas gift. That's what I got. And uh, if you're totally sold on this, I think probably the only place you can find one is on eBay. And if you find one for less than $35, you let me know because I think I'd, I might have gotten the best deal you can get on one of these. So on that, hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of a different video. Greg's Camera Corner, is that what we called it? I'll, I'll move up here. We'll make it an actual camera corner. Greg's Camera Corner. Here, I'll make it vloggy style. Greg's Camera Corner, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.